Sup? Want some gum? Oh, wait, uh... Yeah, totally out. <laughs> I kinda just downed the last piece. So, you were a match too? That makes at least two of us. How old are you anyway? Well, I've still got a nanosecond of experience on you. Pleasure to meet you. Stand. Huh? Stand and to attention, now. Excellent. I've got a busy day planned, so we'll keep this quick. My name is Subaki Amamiya. I am a senior operator here at the Far East, and I'll be your advisor. Your schedule is as follows. A full medical workup followed by a gamut of physical conditioning. You'll be taught basic combat strategies and tactics and given... Wait. No, we died for a bit. Okay, let me reload the game. Apparently that's one whole cutscene, so we're gonna have to watch it all from the start, not like this. Thank you. 
Is it better like this? Is it better like this or is it still too low? Like I can I can still raise it up a little bit on OBS. Alright, now let's watch the Ultra Mega Long Cutting and hope we don't lose connection. Wait, just gonna check the ping real fast. We're good. We're good. Look at that. A rare one. It's strong, and to the victor go the spoils. Old man Sakaki's gonna have a fit when he sees this. <laughs> I'd like to see some reinforcements out here. If we're all done here, let's call for Exfel. I'm starved. Speaking of, what are they serving today? Admittedly, I wasn't paying a lot of attention at the last supply meeting. Wait, just remembered. Some new engineered corn or something. Uh, you mean that same overgrown <gasps> corn on the cob fiasco? It's so hard to chew. Yeah, we're having a bit of a lean year. We should be glad we're getting fed at all. Hey, Soma, how about a trade, huh? You like corn? Don't think so. Come on, we're not back soon. We'll get a lot of nothing. Director, I believe Norn has found a match. A potential new type God Eater, sir. Very good. Send the data to my personal terminal. Summon them. There's potential, but they must first clear the, the test.
Congratulations are in order. You are the very first of our new type God Eaters. Brilliant! You have passed the test, and well, now that we're certain you're a God Arc match, we must ensure your welfare with a short physical. Please, wait in the lobby just beyond the door. The doctor will see to you shortly. And do let someone know if you feel unwell. I have great hopes. So, want some gum? Oh, wait, uh, yeah, totally out. <laughs> I kind of just down the last piece. So, you were a match too? That makes at least two of us. How old are you anyway? Well, I've still got a nanosecond of experience on you. Pleasure to meet you. Stand. Huh? Stand and to attention, now. Excellent. I've got a busy day planned, so we'll keep this quick. My name is Subaki Amamiya. I am the senior operator here at the Far East, and I'll be your advisor. Your schedule is as follows. A full medical workup followed by a gamut of physical conditioning. You'll be taught basic combat strategies and tactics and given a brief overview of God Arcs and Armament. Until this moment, God Eaters have put their lives on the line to defend you. Now it's your turn to repay them. If you plan on staying alive, every order will be answered and enacted immediately. Understood? Am I understood? Ma'am, yes ma'am. Better. Now, as to your exams, let's begin with you, shall we? Orders are to report to Dr. Paylor Sakaki's office at 1500 hours. Until then, you're free to tour the facility as you wish. Welcome to Fenrir's Far East Branch, which we affectionately call the Den. This is your home now. These teammates, your family. Godspeed. Okay, nice. We got past the first cutscene. And we didn't lose connection, yay! Oh, the game is running fine. Get on with it! First, go get your medical checkup. Go up the stairs and take the section elevator to the laboratory. Head toward Dr. Sakaki's laboratory at the far end of the corridor. When you're done with your checkup, I want you to come back here. Understand? Understood. Alright, now be on your way. You're gonna use the elevator to travel to different areas. Okay. Excuse me, do you work here? I seem to have gotten separated from my father. Do you know where my father is? Are you lost? No, I'm just wandering around on my own. Having fun. Maybe I'll buy something at the shopkeepers. Well, well, looks like we got ourselves a rookie. If you want to go toe to toe with Aragami, you'll need my words. I stock everything from healing items to performance enhancers and all the basic bullets and god arc parts you'll ever need. Just listen to me, replenish your supplies right here. I think my prices are pretty damn good. Does this chat have a censorship mechanism? I don't think it does. I hope it doesn't. I haven't activated anything like that here. Okay, let me try. Nope. It doesn't. Kibari. You can receive mission orders until your rookie training is done. See me after your checkup. Hey, there you are. Being a god eater is a tough business. We're despised by some, and they invited by others. Oh wait, invited by others. Even so, we're protecting those same people. Heh. <laughs> But that's just an old god eater rambling. 
When you're old enough, I'll buy you a drink. See you later. You're taking the medical checkup first, right? You should probably say hi to everyone while we have the chance. You know what they say? First impressions are the most lasting. I guess I should read through the database on the terminal. But did you see how much text there is? No way I can read all that. Lieka. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? How do you do? I'm Lika Kusunoki. Nice to meet you. I'll do my best to keep your guard art in top shape to make sure you have no trouble in battle. Oh, you have a checkup at Dr. Sakaki's? Just take the elevator down to the laboratory. It's at the back. Oh, by the way, is the the voice and game volume like all good? Just asking in case we gotta tweak the settings a little more or something. Hey, when you have some free time, let's go to lunch. Later. Then that's all the people on this floor. Rookie section. What a pony reward. Rations are getting worse too. Hey, you're new. Oh, you're one of those rookies. God ears may get better pay. But it's not nearly enough to cover risking your life. Listen, just do enough not to get killed. Without your life, you're nothing. That was shun. Veteran section. You're not authorized to enter this room. No. Rookie. Empty room, living quarters, Protoss room. Veteran section. Sakura Island. Oh, we were here already. Laboratory. Oh, hello there. Oh, so you're the rookie. They said we'd be getting two new kids. You must be on your way to your medical checkup then. It's at the end of the hall, Dr. Sakaki's lab. Doc's a little eccentric, but... Oh, but hey, he's a very kind man. You'll be fine. Just let me check my ping. We good. Hopefully we won't have to reset again for another cutscene. Didn't expect that. You were here precisely 726 seconds before I anticipated. Interesting. I am Paylor Sakaki. <laughs> Dr. Paylor Sakaki, the chief of Aragami Tech and R&D. I'm certain we'll be seeing quite a lot of each other over the coming days. Welcome aboard, new type. As you can see, I'm still a touch busy at the moment. Things to do, screens to watch, uh... Johannes, why don't you do your speech thing, and then I'll go. Sure. Though, Doctor, I think it is high time you learn to prioritize between work and personal research. Thank you for taking part in the aptitude test. I know it is not pleasant. My name is Johannes von Schicksal. I'm the director of the Far East Branch, reporting directly to Fenrir. Once again, congratulations on your acceptance. I know you shall do great things in your time here. Don't let the speechifying fool you. He's an ex-tech guy. No doubt the new type medical exam is calling to him. A tech guy? Do keep in mind that I hung up my lab coat because we have you now, Doctor. Once a scientist, always a scientist, Johannes. Perhaps. In any case, if I may return to my speechifying. The Fenrir Corporation has many goals, of which you are now a critical part. Your direct duties, while crucial, are rather simple. You God Eaters hunt down and destroy Aragami and gather their materials. These materials are then converted into resources. They help maintain this base and supply the upcoming Aegis project. These numbers? There's no way they can be right! The Aegis Project will defend humanity in our utopia. A fortress at sea, impregnable to origami assault, located near the deepest part of the Sea of Japan. Ah, of course, of course! Once the final phase of the project is complete, 
Humanity will be able to live in peace again, free from these monsters. <laughs> Amazing! The new types are a miracle! Taylor, I am trying to teach something! Oh, right! <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just these readings. They're beyond our wildest hopes. Then it seems the future of humanity is in good hands. You will do us proud. And on that note, I shall place you in the doctor's hands and take my leave. Paler, be sure to send the results. Oh yeah, and this is where we get drugged, and then we wake up in our bed. I believe we're ready to begin. Go ahead and lie down on the bed just there. As the exam begins, you will feel a bit drowsy. I assure you there's nothing to worry about. When you awaken, you'll be in your quarters. It's a, uh, catnap, so to speak. Shouldn't be more than a few hours. 10,800 seconds at most. Sleep well. the archive from the terminal in your room allowing you to watch movies and listen to music. Okay, let's go to the entrance. Hey. You can change and upgrade equipment, craft items, manage your inventory and save your progress at terminals. Hmm. You can change guard or parts, clothes, and even create equip equipment sets to make changing more convenient. You can also check your skill effects. Strategic use of skill effects is essential for making missions go smoothly. Press the start button to view your skill effects. Here you can view cur currently equipped skill effects as well as detailed information on each effect. Higher level skill effects are more powerful and some skill effects only activate at level 10. You can also press the X button to view skills by equipment type and press the Y button to view skills on your current god arc. Many god arcs have skills attached to them and some skills provide multiple skill effects. Skill effects are a great help during missions. Be sure to use powerful skills when they become available. Okay. So, I'm gonna try the spear and the scythe because I'm gonna be using sniper. So there, this is melee, this is long range. But with the spear you can go in and out of the battle whenever. And with the scythe, you have the extra range. So I'm gonna try them both. I'm gonna start with the spear. And I'm gonna go with snipers. Yeah. Don Quinn. We're gonna use the heavy. I'm gonna go with the heavy one. And we don't have upgrades, so yes. That avails. You can here you can check terms used in God Eater and the other material based on your progress through the story. Information on the bullet editor, Aragami strengths and weaknesses, and other information will help you through the game. Mail, Kota Fujiki. Subject, nice to meet you. By the way, do you know when my medical checkup is? I think Miss Subaki told me, but I can't remember. I want to ask her, but she seems kind of scary. Okay, save. A mission so soon, huh? The people here are, are kinda rough, don't you think? They better not haze rookies, that would suck. File for missions with that cute operator girl, right? Then we go through that 10 gate and it's actual combat. 
Yeah, I think I'll wait to head over till I'm mentally prepared. Wait, finally mobilizing a rookie. Before you head out, you should set your loadout in the terminal. You can store items or reload used to weapons. You can also change or power up your Goddard laid loadout. Just remember to stop by when you receive or complete a mission. I'll be waiting. Alright. Also, if you run out of stun grenades, let me know. I might be able to come up with some for you. Hey, you look a little more mature now, rookie. Don't forget to say hello to Lika there. That girl is fighting right alongside you, God Eaters. Don't you forget that. Now then, to make up for the lecture, why don't I tell you about weapons and armor? About melee weapons. Melee weapons come in two varieties, blades and pole arms. Which one do you want me to explain? Pole arms, because they're the new ones. The name comes from their unwieldy long handle. Which one do you want to hear more about? About the charged spear. Spears excel at mobility and de at dealing piercing damage. As for what really sets them apart, though, let's see. It'll have to be their forward rushing, charge glide attack, and the backflip, a versatile, evasive maneuver. Hmm. Yeah, the bullet mechanics are pretty weird. I never got a hold of them on the original God Eater, because if you play alone, there's no way you can gun the enemy down. Charge Glide has an added bonus to it. Any combo attack made after the initial charge gets a boost, a boost to its attack power. Oh, that sounds interesting. Combine that with backflip to toy with your enemy using quick and powerful hit and run tactics. Variant, variant side. <clears throat> Sides provide both great reach and mobility. Better yet, transforming them into extend bite form lets them go even further, also it's ha it has two forms apparently. It also lets you take out whole swarms of Aragami in one swing. If you want to channel, to channel your inner reaper, this is the weapon for you. Die, 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 die. The extend by form has its own special techniques too. There's its round tank combo attack for starters. Then there's the head clamming chop of vertical fang, which can be chained into the Aragami Reaping Cliff fang. Strike with the tip of the blade to deal some big damage. It'll take some time getting used to, I'm sure, but the investment's worth it. And to the previous options, to tell you the truth, the first time I laid eyes on one was at a, a, a European training seminar just the other day. No one here in the den uses one in the field. We don't even have the parts to make them. Anyway, I'm sure Liko will fill you in on the specifics at some point. Try giving them a spin in the training scenes for now. It's about something else. No need anymore. Ah, oh, I wanna know about the shields, maybe. Bucklers. A shield with fast deployment speed but low defense. Well suited to defending in a pinch, but you're still likely to lose HP, even with a successful guard. You'll find it works best when combined with the basic maneuvers. About shields... It's a well-balanced shield, both in terms of expansion speed and defense power. Expand Dong! When you're in a jam, first put up a shield. That should give you some stability. About tower shields. Deployment speed slow, but this shield is tough with a high defense. If you can guard successfully, you're almost certain to block any incoming attacks. A word of caution, however, your guard may well fail if your stamina is running low. Alright, ask about something else, no need anymore. Remember you can get the information on the guns, melee weapons and shields at the terminal there. There's also info on the special attacks for every gun and melee weapon. You're best of learning them properly. Ah, the point is, as long as you don't die, you're good. Good luck. Mm, let's see. Ask about weapons. Guard arc, armor mods, power-ups and productions are all done right here on this terminal. 
Guard arcs are made up of three primary parts, melee, guns, and shields. I could tell you more about them, but you're probably best off asking Gen over there for the details. The men's a retired god eater after all. Alright. Okay. Terminal database. Weapons. Aragami people, salvage materials, system turns, other. Nah. Okay, let's go then. Wait. I went on a shopping spree at the shopkeepers. Well, why not? I can't just get by using. I can't get by just on raping. <laughs> Okay, let's see if Cannon has anything new to say. Oh, are you all done? So, are you used to the den yet? No, I just got here. Ah, I understand. To tell you the truth, neither am I. And I keep getting lost. It's been quite a while already, but my instructor's always yelling, saying I'm, saying I'm stuck in rookie mode. So you're done with your medical checkup. Again, I'm Hibari Takeda, and I oversee mission orders. Now then, let me explain to you about the mission workflow. First, you receive an order for a mission. Then, based on enemy intelligence, you can change your weapons upstairs at the terminal. You then launch the mission by giving approval at the den gate over to the far end upstairs. Um, do you follow me? Understood. Oh, that's good. I may cause you some inconvenience at times, but I do look forward to working with you. Before you set out, go upstairs and head for the den gate at the end of the hall. There are two types of missions, story missions that advance the plot and free missions. You may take up to 8 of the consumable items down grenade out onto a mission. Surplus grenades will automatically be sent to storage. During multiplayer, the stone grenade carrying limit per player fluctuates depending on the number of players, so be aware that the value may change. Oh, there's extra missions. Missions in extra missions can only be played after advancing the main storyline to a certain difficulty. For details on unlock conditions, see the mission descriptions. Hard work, hard at work already, I see. Hmm? Is something the matter? I like some advice on my mission. Ask about Devil's Try. Devil's Tail turns a little warm up, so to speak. Never let your guard down, but if you're careful with, your he with your healing, this isn't a tough enemy. It would be a good idea to try out various weapons and items against a wrong army of, of this level. Ask about something else. Teamwork strategies. About Link A. If a comrade is knocked out, run over and perform linkage. Press the B button when you're next to them. By sharing half of your health, you can restore a comrade. Scattering targets, boosting firepower, their survival improves your own odds. Look after them. About Link first. Fire an Aragami bullet at your comrade. You can boost them up to 3 levels in Link Force status. When you devour an Aragami, you'll get an Aragami bullet. When your god arc is in its current form, you're best off passing them to an ally. Naturally, your comrades can give you Aragami bullets too. Getting one will engage Link first, which greatly increases your abilities. You'll receive a boost in speed and stamina, as well as gain the ability to jump in midair. you also get a condensed Aragami bullet as a shot infused with their support. Don't miss! about something else? No, I'm fine. I see. Very well then. In that case, proceed with your mission. Well, well. Ah, it's the same. Okay, just let me check controls. Jump A, that X, Y, 
Double weapon form, sprint, collect. Spray consumables orders. Camera up, camera down. I think we're good. Right button X, right button, before. Difficulty 1, let's go to the tutorial. Confirm. Yes. After receiving a mission from the operator, prepare yourself at the terminal before pressing the A button at the 10 gate to begin. You can also view info on the mission you have accepted through the menu by pressing the start button. Do we have more clothes? Yes, we do.
tactics. the side. You have earned Gap. Gap can be spent to learn certain personal abilities for members who will join you in the future. Gap is earned the first time a mission is cleared and rarely when clearing an order. Materials and consumable items collected on a mission are automatically sent to storage and can be accessed from the terminal. Sorts of materials from its core. These materials are critical. 
to advancing our research, as well as earning enhancements to your god arc itself. You will fall! Alternatively, you can collect the scraps that line the field during battle. Just to prove you can do it, please go around and pick up the ones we've littered about the training area. Training will conclude in 20 seconds. Training will conclude in 20 seconds. Okay, so... It feels kinda wonky. You will fall! Very well. It seems you've passed boot camp simply enough. Next, you'll go up against the real thing. Fight well, God Eater. Alright. The glory of dawn. I try out the side for a while. One other tale confirmed in the OZ. Eliminate as soon as possible. Research identifies the outer skin of all our tales to be vulnerable to fierce attacks. Mission time is 30 minutes. Good luck. Let's go! Lindo, the director said that if I saw you, I should tell you he wishes to meet with you. Awesome. Sounds like you didn't see me then. Oh, ho! hey there, Rook. The name's Lindo Amamia. According to various documents, I am your superior officer. But I never paid much attention to that crap, and neither should you. In game, I want you to be someone who I know has my back, and I'll have yours. Oh, who's this? A new recruit? Yup, and you're totally ruining my big scary speech about our brutal coda, so shoot! Of course, sir. You're the boss, sir. Now I lost my place, so we're cool, yeah? I'm sending you out into battle, and I know that's scary, but look, I'm gonna be right here with you, got it? Oh, and look at the time. It's half past mission. Let's go! has seen better days for sure. All right, Rook. We're gonna get some hands-on experience today. You got three big rules. Don't die. If you're in danger, frickin' run. And last, hide. Well, not hide. Use cover. Stealth wins fights. Wait, is that four big rules, then? I'm gonna bottom line it for you. Survive. Actually, yeah, let's say one big rule. Survive. All right, kid. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get it on, baby. Hey there! This is our first field op together. I'm excited to work with you. Now let's get out there! We're fighting little ogre tails today. Should be a pretty basic hunt. Nothing crazy or unexpected. Right. I know it's your first time in the field. Just remember to stay calm. Watch their movements and strike them. Now, finish this! This is the pace. I know you can win this! Target Origami has been neutralized. Well performed, God. 
squad leaders. I don't just hand oh. out compliments. When I say you move well out there for a recruit, I know. Number to the right of each character's name is their endurance, which will decrease if their HP reaches O. If another character's endurance reaches O, they cannot perform linkage, and if your own reaches low, you will fail them. Characters that participate in missions receive AP. AP can be used to learn personal abilities. Oh, this is actually new. It wasn't in the original game. Each character skills that match your style of play. Pretty cool. Ah, there you are. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so what do you say we just jump right in? Now, what do you think an Aragami is? Lots of words come to mind. The apex predator, the devourer of mankind, God's given flesh. Well, those are all right, in a way. These phrases, while dramatic, aren't misconceptions. Rather, you could say they simply evolve from wonderment. The speaker clearly has their eyes fixed on the phenomena before them. Today, we are striving for a deeper answer. Tell me, have you ever wondered from whence the Aragami come? History books tell us that they just appear, as though from the air itself. Since then, their numbers have grown. Strange, no? As though they are ripping through the very core of evolutionary process. <sighs> Does this lecture have an intermission? Or a point? Our job's to kill them. What does it matter where they come from? Oh, it matters! <laughs> Aragami have no heart. Neither do they have a brain or a digestive system or spinal fluids. Frail humans that we are, a powerful strike to the chest would cripple or kill. Them. But no, that won't bring down an Aragami. You see, these beasts are clusters of oracle cells, each individually a single cell organism of its own, ever devouring the others. Mad? Perhaps, but each origami is a colony of hundreds, nay thousands of individual life forms, each striving to survive. And this dangerous, deadly, elegant fusion of cells cannot be destroyed by conventional weapons. They are impervious to all assault. So, how then are we meant to survive? How can we defeat such a powerful predator? Um, well, they die when we hit them a lot with the God Ark, or shoot them a lot with the God Ark, so... Precisely! A God Ark! A biological weapon infused with the same oracle cells that inhabit an Aragami's body. That's the key. They are the only weapons capable of cutting through their ever-fusing oracle cells. But just cutting them down will do no good. The rogue cell colonies will grow and heal, or worse, form new monsters to be defeated. No, there is only one way to ensure victory. Tearing out the core. The cells that serve as a control center. But of course, such a task is challenging to say the least. Even with our god arcs, we have no way to deliver such a devastating blow. At some point, people recognized in these monsters, in their immortality, the spirits of the many gods once worshipped here. They deem these creatures Aragami, and we fight them still. I think that's as good a place as any to hold for today. As homework, please refer to the Norn database for more on the history of Aragami. Dismiss. Dismiss! data has been saved. Oh, welcome back. How did the mission go? The guard. Did it work out alright? It was a no-brainer. Haha, <laughs> you sound soft off. I'll give it a thought of going over later. By the way, did Ken tell you the good news? Did you see the pole arms in your weapon's loadout? The charge spear, boots, boost hammer and variant side? Nobody in the den has used one in combat yet. Which means you're our first guinea pig. 
The control mechanisms of a pole arm are really complex. Guards are always tough to control, and pole arms doubly so. The test parts we ordered in from the European branch just won't take our artificial CNS. Honestly, I was against letting I, I was against us letting you or anyone try them out. It's too dangerous, if you ask me. But Dr. Sakaki insisted that with your compatibility, it will be fine. Theoretically, it should be, but we'll still be keeping close watch. If things go smoothly, you can keep using them. Also, if you need any new parts, you can order them from the terminal. I'll handle the, per the paperwork to get any parts and refits you need from Europe. Leave it to me, you won't have to do a thing. Don't overdo it. Go get some rest in your room, resting is part of your job too. I don't know why, but I was nervous. I was told that if I ever panic, I should just pause and rethink my plan. But I didn't even get a chance to do that. And if it's really starting to look bad, we're supposed to quit mission and come back. I think I'll end up doing that a lot. Sounds kind of scary, but let's do our best. Hey, Gina. I hear you went on that mission with Lindo. You're very lucky, you know. Nobody here knows how to survive better than Lindo. Stick close to him and you'll stay alive. I'm sure you have questions since you're still new here. About emotions. Emotions are a necessity if you want to get along with others and get used to living here. Don't you think communication is important? Like waving hello or nodding to a comment, you know? These actions show your response to the other person's words or behaviors are called emotions. It'll especially become important in multiplayer. So you should be glad you know about this now. You can perform gestures to express yourself by pressing the directional buttons plus the LB button or the RB button. Avatar cards. Avatar cards are kind of like business cards. It records data, like your status and battle spots. You can see what kind of aragami they defeated, or how fast they defeated it and the like. It even has a lot of behaviors and who they're close to. No, I'm fine. I guess that's about it. If you ever forget, you can look it up in the database of the terminal. I hope you remember. Up, I'm going to be just like the shopkeeper and make piles of money. Then I'll be able to make mom's life easier. Oh, I can't wait to grow up. To grow up. Mm. Too bad. Heard of that. It's fine. I made it back alive again, Kibari. So how about a day? Hey, you are the rookie everyone's talking about. I'll show you the ropes. You might know this. When you accept the mission, file it with Hibari here. Afterwards, your tab will be tailed, told and paid. Told, told you that and paid. Hey, Sewey. What up? Don't wear yourself out. I look forward to working with you. Lindo. Hey, there you are. Are you there? Are you starting to get used to living here? Well, we'll get to know you better today, or I'd like to, but as usual, we'll talk about war. In today's mission, you'll be with Long Range Specialist Gladiator Sakriata Chihuahua. When you're ready, go to Hibari and accept the mission I ordered. You got that? Sakriya and I are old frenemies, but she's okay, so don't be scared of her. I'm counting on you. Are you the rookie? There are a lot of crumblers here, but it's thanks to you that we can survive. We're all very grateful, you know? So hold your head up high and keep your chin up.
Okay, let's check the rooms. Ruby section. My room. Can I sleep? I can. Veteran section. There's nobody here. Laboratory. Nobody here either. Okay, let's go to the entrance. You have an additional joint mission with Sakria. Sakria, she's gorgeous, you know? Thunder mission, falling in the red. If any free spaces are available, you can use the A button to select mission members. More members will be available as you progress. Okay. Kota, Alisa. What? I can use Alisa already? Cannon and who's a net? Let's try her out. Confirm. Yes. Let's go then. Tactical objectives achieved. Don't let your guard down yet. It's not over until we're back home. Be sure to secure all materials you can. God arts do not upgrade themselves. You're gonna get some rest when you get back, right? All these faces are actually pretty cool. I remember there being so much dialogue in the old one. The number to the right of each character's name. Yeah, I already read that. Okay, let's try the other one. Cowboy, multiple overtales. Let's try Alisa up too. And let's go with Dina, to be honest.
Brand then that's the brand. Heal. Hold out. Glare inside. Suck it up. Maze Kidoler. Yeah, let's take the enough. Cannon out. It has a sniper gun. Let's go. Hold on. Verifying new oracle responses. No. We have a large origami in the area. A Vajra. Damn! Vajras are extremely dangerous. They're fast Vajra. and relentless hunters. Engagement is not advised. Copy. Okay. Complete your mission quickly and get out of there. Please. Is... is everything okay? Something wrong? Need some moral support? Go, Go team! team. Successful mission, ably and well performed.
Let's check them. Jun Ogawa. Hey rookie, so you're a new, t a new type rookie, huh? You should then remember who's junior and senior here. Listen to your superiors. See ya. Canon. Nice to meet you. It's Canon. We met in the corridor the other day. Do you remember? I'm sorry if you don't. I might cause a lot of trouble, but thank you in advance for your support. Lindo and Mamiya. Today's mission. Hey, you did great. The end. Nah, just kidding. Well, I'll see you around. Just don't die, alright? Hibari Takeda. Hello, I'm the operator Hibari Takeda. Thank you for your thank you for undergoing your medical checkup the other day. You'll find everything unfamiliar at first. But if you have any questions about combat, please ask Tsubaki again. Welcome aboard. See you. Hope to see you around. Don't die. You're the new recruit, aren't you? I'm Sakuya, Sakuya Tachibana. Great to meet you. You look a little nervous, you all right? It sounds weird, but you've got to stay relaxed. We don't want you freezing up out there. Oh. All right, let's get to the mission briefing. You've got the lead today. I'll be handling the long range backup. So wherever you go, I'll follow. This is as basic as strategy gets, but it's the key to success when you're teamed up with a long-range god arc like mine. Oh, and don't go running off. If you get too far, I can't cover you. Stay within my line of sight and my god arc's effective range. All right, we're a team now, you and I. We look out for each other. Let's get out there and take those origami down. Still feel to get those. I 
return to base. Ariel. Ah, speak of the devil, my young Mutai. Is it true that you have special powers? How dwarfy? You look like any other brat. Ah well, good luck earning your keep. Evading the enemy is a rat's job, you know. But a man's value is based on his skills and rewards. Whoops, that was rude of me. After all, you're one of Lindo's prodigies. I beg your pardon. Damn them. Treating me like a kid. I bet those I bet those two over there are the type who bully rookies. I'd hate to go on a mission with those guys. Hey, did you hear? The toilet got stopped up and things were really hectic. Nope, I didn't hear that. Well, get this. It was all Eric's doing. He may be some big wig kid, but how could he not know how to use a toilet? Really? Hey, damn you! I'm just about to have fun with Hibari, so don't butt in. I need to speak to Hibari. Huh? No way. There are such things as rules. First come, first serve. Plus their seniority. Right now. Right. Now that you've learned your lesson, take a hike. It's the same... Oh wait. But we'll have to use weapons and shield, about melee weapons. Of blades. Short blades, yeah, it has a short range, but the short blade speed and continuous attacks more than make up for it. With that offensive speed, you can also dodge quickly, enabling me their steps. This weapon's an excellent choice if you prefer to strike in close and retreat a safe distance. Bow long blades, a melee weapon that strikes the perfect balance between power and arc of attack. Its major selling point is that you can use Impulse Edge, an attack that uses OP to, us to unleash a blast of aura controls. What's more, if you use Serial Stance to reset your posture during an attack, you can string attacks together to your heart's content. What? This is all new! It's a powerful melee weapon with a long reach, but it will also slow you down and leave you vulnerable. Anticipate the Aragami's next move and then strike with a single destructive blow. Charge Crush is a cleaving charge attack that takes a train tide to pull off, but when it lands, the damage is huge. Other skills include parrying upper for countering after guarding and advanced guard for blocking quickly after attacking. Buster Blade may be slow, but it comes with an array of defensive te techniques. I'm fine. Sakriya Tachuana, subject. Good work today. Hard to believe you're a rookie, the way you move. The materials you gather on missions are here to store. So check there, if there's something you need. Also, don't forget to review your items before heading out on missions. Looking forward to working with you again. Gina Dickinson. I guess I'm having. I guess I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Gina. I'll be with you on this mission. Let's not become like our arrogant fit together, okay? Tatsumi Omori. My introduction was not enough. I'm Tatsumi Omori, a leader of the second unit. At the beginning, you should count on your teammates. Don't push yourself. Shopkeeper. To all god eaters. Hey, I do business around here. Just call me the shopkeeper. I carry healing items, status effect curing items, battle support items, and the like. Restore pills are one absolute essential, and if you plan on staying alive, this guy's scent is perfect for keeping Aragami from discovering your position. My shop's next to the counter, so come by anytime. Okay. So, air step. 
try this out. This is all new stuff. Oh, sadly I couldn't praise you enough. She was just here. I wonder if she's resting in her room. seem to be in, it sounded like Sakuya's voice came from a nearby room. Oh, good work! For our first time, that mission went smoothly and we made a good team. Just did my job, nothing more. I'd say good, but don't get careless. Think about what it means to be a new type wielding both a gun and a sword. You've got to do what us old types can. It's a big responsibility, can you handle it? Just kidding, you'll be fine, but if you need help, I should offer a recovery bullet at any time. You have my support until you're a full-fledged gladiator. Don't worry, you're not alone, fellow gladiators can share help via link aid if one of you falls. Oh, and I can shoot recovery bullets. Well, look who it is! I don't think I've ever seen you in here before, how are things going? You know, you're looking a little under the weather, champ. Not skipping meals, I hope. You'll get stamina no matter what you do. Don't mess up your face or you'll end up somewhere around his lunch. Laboratory. Executive section. Let's go to the entrance, let's go to the tutorial. It'll be one. Yeah, let's go to the tutorial. I think 
think I'll take the short way. It's too cool. Impulse Edge. Here you can view and change each character's personal abilities and even teach them new ones. Learning abilities cost HP, AP or gain. AP. AP can be earned by taking members on missions or using them as support. Up to four, four personal abilities can be set at one time. Support skills activate after a mission is completed. Equipping the same support skill to multiple characters increases its chances of activating. to the short sword. Feels the most mobile. And I accidentally closed the game. Whoops. The 
difficulty one, Iron Rain. Four Aragami sighted in the chemical factory ruins identified as cooking maidens and overtails. Make use of the divided terrain to lure the overtail away from the immobile cooking maiden, defeating the bully. Going with Soma radio options. You can change radio messages and display settings. Be sure not to miss vital information on missions. Confirm. Yes. Wait. Let me check my thing real fast. Okay. Think. I'll do this one mission and then I'll log off. Hey, what's up? I assume you're the new star rookie everyone's been going on about. I'm Eric. That's right. Eric der Vogelvide. I suggest you do your best to emulate me. I've been out defending humankind for a while, and I think I know. Eric, look out! Whoa! Don't just stand there. Well, there you go. Welcome to this godforsaken place. I'm Selma. Don't waste your time remembering. Neither of us will be here long. I hate being the guy to break it to you, but death is not so rare out here. Surprised? Afraid? Well, what did you think it was gonna be? Forget it. The time for mourning has come and gone. We've got a mission. Let's go. Here's a key to staying alive. Never give a breath of quarter and stay the hell away from me. Okay, let's go. You will fall! You will fall! 
Override save data, yes. What do you want? Eric? Nothing to do with me. The weaker among us are the first to die. That's all there is to it. We lost another comrade. He was cocky, but that he was sure to become a great guy there one day. Tomorrow it could be one of us. Let's all stay on our toes. Eric's card arc was unscathed. It can be passed on to the next guy I assist. We should be happy about this silver lining, but... Sorry, I don't feel very well today. Aren't you glad you made it back safely? It's terrible what happened to Eric. But what's important is that you made it back alive, right? You could be a little selfish sometimes, but for some reason, you couldn't really hate him. After all this time, I still can't get used to losing one of our comrades. Your classmate, Kora, was worried sick about you. Go see Kora first, for his mind at ease. Hey, good word. Hey, uh, I heard that your partner passed away. Mm, I just don't think it would do any good for both of us to be gloomy. To be gloomy. Don't worry, let's be more confident. We're invincible. Anyway, I just want to say, let's try to block up. Hey, Lindo seemed to worry about you. He just went back to his room, so you should go see him. Never had a comrade died in front of you, huh? Come to think of it, we haven't really talked yet. Not really much for talking. But is there something you want to ask me? Thought Eric. Eric was one of those rich kids. He could be bratty, but he was a good guy who looked after his sis. When you become a god eater, you're mostly fighting against the weight of that responsibility. In his own way, he fought as hard as he did. Bausoma. Soma is one of the top god eaters in the Far East ranks, and he's misunderstood because he's blonde. Mm, well, you can't deny that he's a brat, but I don't think you'll find a kinder person. His worst fear is losing a comrade right before his eyes, that's why he always keeps his distance. Right, so anyway, I'm ordering you to make friends with him and keep from ever dying. So you see... I don't want you to be too hard on him. Got that. Bakura. Yes, that's cla that classmate. That's the that classmate of yours is a good guy. Hard to believe anyone could be raised right these days. Yes, we you give credit to the way his parents trained him. Raised him. There's no greater treasure than comrades you can get along with. Take good care of them. Right. Both you and Koda still have a lot of a lot to learn. Technically. Survive a while and you'll be fine. Counting on you, just don't get killed. Got that? Tsubaki Amamiya. Using your materials. Materials aren't just for upgrading gear. Item crafting allows you to make items for healing or traps. You can also combine or break down other materials to get items you might be missing, which is pretty handy. You can craft at the terminal, but depending on the item, a crafting cost will be incurred. Keep that in mind, and an eye on your funds. 
Well, they got good Zunonki. Listen, that shit you're using, compared to other god eaters, it's hardly scratched at all. Are you really using it? Hey, not that I want you to scratch it up, but you've got to be defensive too, you know? Busted. You can customize bullets and change the ones you're carrying. Your bullet and inventory changes when you equip a new gun. You equip a new gun. Here you can use materials obtained through missions to upgrade equipment and craft new items and materials. Upgrading equipment will unlock new skills and allows for use of skills to be united at so great often. When you upgrade your equipment, skills assigned to that equipment are, that are marked with a new may improve. Skills improve, their effects will level up and new skills will be added. Press the start button and go to skill for you. For more detail on info, Fencer, skill for melee fighting that strengthens attack abilities. Knife, knife, P, Ice Drill, Iron Maiden. Each level gives a stacking effect of fire. Iron Maiden 2. There's been a Congo sighting nearby. We haven't seen any around here for a while. Think you could go on a quick Congo hunt, hunt for us? Congo Gaian. She report upon Congo invasion to Temple Ruins, home to three of our tails. Quickly eliminated, eliminated them all. Keep in mind, Congo has low spark and blaze resistance, but has gained here. Let's go, we're counting on you. This is Subaki about mission details and strategy. Good luck. Send new enemy, stay on your toes. Any questions about Congo, Gaian? Congo, we don't usually see them around here at this time. Its known vulnerability is that the part that looks like a mask seems weak. Such powerful attacks and focus on that mask area. About Titan Rain. Never take on multiple enemies at once. The most basic rule is of boys destroy one at a time. Koku maidens are unable to move. Take advantage of that and try to separate it from the other tail. Bow cowboy. Cowboy. Make sure you destroy just your target, the other tail. A Vajra has also been spotted, but the Vajra is extremely dangerous for you right now. Your top priority is not to let one spot you. The important thing is to come back in one piece. Got that? No, I'm fine. I see you very well then. In that case, proceed with your mission. Hey, looks like we're heading out together this time, huh? I'm glad we made it this far. At the end of the day, surviving is what matters in this line of work. I think I've got to be extra careful. I don't know what my mom and sister would do if I... Well, never mind. Oh, hey, um, on the down low? Do you know Sakuya? Yeah? Are you close? Isn't she just smoking hot? And not just hot, but kind. And sweet. And hot! Oh, she's like a freaking Amazon warrior maiden! Damn, she's so fine! Even just thinking about her has got me all hyped for another mission! How about a little contest? Let's see which of us takes down the most origami! Oh, she'll be all over me then! Medium-sized. 
Use origami with devastating power. It won't just deal out punishment, but it can also take a beating before it goes down. It's the strongest enemy you've faced. Make sure you've brought supplies and be careful to use them intelligently. Come home safe. Time to get busy, baby. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Deploying stealthy. Congo. Nah, it's over there.
Oh, damn it. Certainly worthy of a passing grade. Be sure to secure all materials you can. God arts do not upgrade themselves. Good job, team. Let's head on home. It's almost dinner time. There we go. Hey, what's up, Sheen? Hi, hi. Obtain the ticket. You can exchange tickets for collected materials and Aragami materials or terminals. You can get tickets as a reward for missions. They are very useful supplements for upgrading items. Let's begin with a concept. Another lesson. Archaeology. In essence, a building completely self-contained. But that's not all. Self-sufficient as well. Both in production and consumption therein. Of course, the best example is here. The Fenrir Far East branch, with the den at its core, is an arcology. In any situation, no matter how extreme, we could survive alone, even should all the remaining Fenrir structures collapse. Our status as an arcology would ensure that we could live on just as before, still eat, work, and fight, all based on our own production. Beneath the den is a fully equipped plant that produces food, god arcs, and any needed material for the people of the branch. Atop all that, we are supremely defended. An anti-Aragami wall lines the perimeter, and we boast the strongest God Eaters squadrons. That, in a nutshell, is the Far East, a powerful and complex arcology optimized solely for the protection of humankind. Unfortunately, we are still plagued by a number of issues. Foremost among them is that we simply cannot house all our citizens. I am certain you've seen the vast outer ghetto, a collection of ramshackle housing that lies just beyond the core of the branch. We would love to have those people inside, but the fact is, we simply don't have the room to accommodate. I'm afraid that the best we can do now is surround that ghetto with a larger anti-Aragami wall. Options are limited. I don't know if that's enough. The armor's been breached a whole lot lately. Never bad, but still. Which is precisely why we have the defense unit stationed there. Our strongest shield. Oh, goodness me. You were born in the outer ghetto, weren't you, Koda? My apologies. I did not mean to dismiss your fear so lightly. Oh, no. It's not a problem. Actually, there was a plan to expand the interior of the den. We were going to build another layer down for new residents. But it never came through. The Aegis project picked up. And that's supposed to make us all much safer anyways. Well, yes, exactly. At this time, a massive majority of Far East resources and the underground plants are being dedicated to helping construct the Aegis. But I think that should be a topic for another time. Lectures, lectures, lectures. Yes, Daira has been saved. The support skill system is now available. Character support skills have a chance of activating after a mission. These skills increase rewards for completing missions or breaking bonds, and have other useful effects. Press the start button on the personal abilities menu at the terminal to view each character's support skills. Further information on support skills can be found in the database on the terminal. 
man, you're a fine, you little brat. Get out of my face. Get used to the daily grind. That idiot son of mine, dying before me. Excuse me, isn't there going to see me anymore? Why not? He promised to buy me some new clothes next time he came. Is he tired of giving me clothes? Ask about whirlwind. A Congo attack is powerful but are telegraphed, so try to evade them by using the step technique. Dodging the Congo at the right distance will let you counter attack. Move efficiently. Crocodile one. The Goboro Goboro is a formidable Aragami capable of both powerful charging and ranged attacks. Spark attacks in gun form work, so pre prepare some, aim bullets and lasers, add darts offense, explosions and radiation at the end. I'm fine. Hey rookie, I just heard a bit of a rumor, listen up. A rumor? That kid Eric wasn't a bad guy either, so there has to be a reason why he was killed so easily. Reason? There's a death god among us, and they're worse than Aragami. Could you die if you team up with him? The name of this death god is Soma. Whenever he's around, the Aragami always come to you. People who get paired up with him usually die fast, but somehow he's still alive. His worst time is also really long too. See, he can't be human. He is death. Wow, awesome! My gun and your blade! We were totally in sync! We're the best team ever! I'm gonna go home and brag to Nozomi. I'll tell her that I'm the defender of War Peace. Hey, way to go! You defeated a Congo? Piece of cake. Hey, nice going! Keep that up and you can help me out on the side. Well, never mind that. You know the temple ruins where you took out that Aragami? That's the area where I used to live as a kid. Me, Sakuya, and my sister. Ah, uh, I mean Tsubaki. We're all from there. So there's nothing left now. Uh oh. This is no time to be sentimental. Anyway, you did good, kid. Okay, stand by and don't skimp on preparations. That's all. Koda Fujiki, the poor. Hey, it was great working with you today. Like when you started hacking away like that, then after you dropped black, I went in there with guns blazing. That Congo was tumbling all over the place, huh? We're the best team ever. Brendan Bardo. Hi, I'm Brendan Bardo from the defense unit. Sorry that I couldn't send you a greeting earlier. When you need more fighters, just let, me, just let me know. That is, if you can consider me as a great asset. It's a real shame about Eric. Don't go beating yourself up about it. Development Department. New clothing. It is a little late, but new clothing is available to order from the terminal once you have the necessary materials. New items this time a, include a lineup of sleeveless jackets, new pants, new suits for formal events, hoodies, tight slacks, Thermal outfits for missions in the goal, men's shorts and women's flirt skirts. The shopkeeper. Hey there, it's me, the shopkeeper. Here's a special deal for my regulars. I just received a new shipment of ration, energy drink, health drinks, fake leather, and nylon. Energy drinks and health drinks can increase specific abilities, but they decrease certain stats, so be careful when you decide to use them. Outfit tops. Where's my hoodie? Here are the hoodies. On this one. 
thread and wool. Standard missions, difficulty one is cleared. For a wind. One Congo. Backup member system is now available. Non combat members like Hibari and Lika can now join you on missions. Taking a backup member will give that character's support skills a chance to activate. This allows these characters to earn AP for learning personal abilities. So use backup members as much as you can. Oh, I'll take Lika, like uh, Goddard Tuner, let's see what is class, Operator. Coda. Okay, so, we'll end the stream here. And I might stream it again later, maybe after Melty Blood, or most likely tomorrow. So, catch you all later, guys, and thank you for tuning in for the stream. Yoshi out. Yes, I want to exit, and yes, override save data. Bye bye.